what's up guys welcome back um what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a red mage guide to pvp with the new crystal conflict coming out uh pvp has been great uh what i want to talk about first is the difference between verse stone and verse fire so verse stone and verse fire have the same potency but it's the um effects of the black and white shift because they give you different um buffs versus debuffs so that's what you kind of want to pay attention to here they don't have different potency in the base skill but magic barrier and frazzle come into play so this is the white shift and this is the black shift icon right so what it does is magic barrier decreases the damage taken by yourself and your party and increases all healing effects but when you're in birth fire you get frazzle and this puts a debuff on the enemy that increases the damage taken by the enemy and it reduces their hp recovery healing actions so that's the first main change in uh using red mage so you want to be conscious of that so i might be in white shift and I want to use Magic Barrier immediately, and then I immediately go to Black Shift, and then I start using Frazzle. By the time you get your first couple casts off, you should have Frazzle back up. And then that will allow you to start going into um, some gap closers, your Core Core, into Frazzle, into Displacement. Then maybe you'll go to Resolution to Bind, and then you'll go back. To your main casting skill which would be for fire or first stone that is a pretty good way to handle uh, when you don't have the melee combo and when you need to set something else up and keep the enemy on their heels right core core like i said you need to use that a lot the uh, melee combo use it a lot you need to overuse it and then make sure you always use displacement and then go into Ver Flare or Ver Holy afterwards. Um, the difference between Ver Flare and Ver Holy is Ver Flare has a 12,000 potency, while Ver Holy, I believe, only has 8,000. But the difference is it's going to give you restoration of your HP and restore the HP of people nearby you. So in the event that like you don't have a healer, I would stay in my white shift a lot longer because for holy is going to heal everybody. Now, if that was not the case, let's say I had a tank or a healer on my team, then I would most definitely be using the black shift and start using for flare to put out more damage with my team. So you have to make judgment calls with red mage. It's not like a class that you can kind of be brain dead on. You have to make judgment calls. It's, it's, it's not really something you can just play and just throw out random magic. I mean, you can, but there are situations where I want to combine magic barrier and then I want to start using Bear Holy because of the increased effects. And then I maybe go to Southern Cross because that also has a healing effect as long as I'm in my white stance, right? The white shift, right? So combining Bear Holy and magic barrier is extremely powerful for the red age right using frazzle and fur flare will be extremely powerful in the black shift so make sure you guys take that in consideration when you're core coring in causing your melee combo displacement out and then you're like do i need to heal or do i need to cause damage if i have a lot of enemies that are low health i'm probably going to use fur flare if I have a team that's full of health, right, I'm going to use Ver Holy. So you have to make that situation for Flare of Ver Holy, right? Look at the bottom right hand of your screen. Look at the opponent's team and make a decision, right? Do I need to heal my team or do I need to punish the other team with a lot of damage, right? Because this is an AoE. This hits everybody. So this is an extremely powerful magic tool that I'm using right now. So one of the other things I want to talk about is Southern Cross because it changes based on what shift you're in right so if i'm in my white shift my cure potency is doubled and if i'm in my black shift the damage potency is doubled and like i said that just comes from you being situationally aware and deciding what your team needs more 
because you are a pretty big deciding factor, right? You get the best of both worlds being a red mage, right? So same thing applies, but make sure if, if at all possible, I would tell you to use the black shift when you're using Southern Cross, just because it does so much damage, right? It will, it does so much damage. Because it actually, if the target is standing in the cross center, it will receive the effect of this action twice. And you can, like, people think Dragoon and Samurai have broken damage. Like, psh, yeah, stand, stand in that for a second. 80% <laughs> of your health bar gone. Easy, an uh, easy 80%. It's not an insta-kill, don't get me wrong. They need to be a little damage. It's not an insta-kill, but 80% gone. So as a red mage, you need to be sure that you are the decision maker, right? You need to be able to see the dragons and the samurais who can one shot, because that's why people play those classes. You need to pay attention to the limit breaks in the bottom right hand of the screen, and then make a decision of if you need to stay in your white stance for very holy because you need to start healing people, making sure they survive, because sometimes you can run into overtimes where the crystal just needs to be like you just need people on the crystal so for holy would be the perfect time to use that um other times you would need to use for fire i'm sorry for flare and you need to cause a lot of damage if you have a nice size party maybe like three people maybe two people are dead i'm for flaring right but if i got all five people there and i just need to keep everybody alive i'm 100 use it for holy no no questions asked about that so I'm going to try to take advantage of the training dummy while I have it. I'm going to give you a few situations of how I actually do this. And you can use my videos that I've already posted if you want to see live gameplay of me implementing um, these type of strategies. But typically, um, I want to use a black shift. I've already used the white, um, the white shift prior to when we were jumping down earlier off the platform. And I'm waiting on Frazzle to pop, right? That's usually what I'm doing at this point. We're just talking beginning of the match strategy. So from that point forward, I'm utilizing uh, core core and displacement, right? I don't try to walk towards my enemies. I'm going to core core, Frazzle, displace out. Then I'm going to judge by binding, right? I'm going to use resolution and I'm going to start judging. <laughs> of course when I start trying to explain this somebody jumps onto the training dummy get away get away get away get away <laughs> he saw me using the training dummy too but I, I mean PvP has been hotter than ever so I, I I didn't expect to show you guys accurate HP numbers right right now but oh maybe he's gonna be nice maybe he's gonna be nice so I core core start using the melee combo right then i displace out bind first then for flare now you judge is he weak go back in displacement that's pretty much how i kill right that's pretty much how i kill that's my that's my primary route of killing right binding for flare judge core core maybe a second frazzle displacement right once you do your second cast or so right i do my melee combo displacement bind fair flare right go back in frazzle just to demonstrate by the time i start casting again my melee combo should be back up look two one bam right that then it, it allows me to go right back into what i was doing Right, I go right back into it. So as you can see, it's just a little rinse and repeat. Make a judgment call, refrazzle, start doing your primary uh, casting. Then I can do a limit break as well, right? So just to keep you guys like on track, um so if at any point that gets disrupted say you don't have a bind right i'm just gonna cast anyway right that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna cast 
for Flair or for Holy anyway. If let's just say the bind wasn't right. Let's just say I messed up everything. It's all out of order. Right? So now I do Frazzle. Boom. I drop the melee combo, right? See how it drops? That's a punishment, right? Because you didn't finish your melee combo. So now I don't have a bind. I lost my melee combo. I gotta wait for it to come back. Now I can restart. But the timers will be all out of order. That's okay. Just go ahead and ver flare, start your casting back, and then try to reset everything. So don't freak out if you can't resolution bind ver flare like all in one go you can you can make it work it's just not optimal you know what i'm saying like it's just not optimal like i would probably try to cast and use what i got until resolution came back up see i, I can't bind for a flare anyway i can't frazzle just start casting by that time you should be able to core core back in displacement maybe do the bind again later like it's it's not going to be the end of the world right so at this point i'm just like trying to figure out like do i need to judge like can i go back in can i use my melee combo do i need to pop out use my limit break these are the judgment moments when your timers are off right i don't have frazzle i don't have bond i don't have my melee combo limit break right that's how i'm gonna kill so hopefully this guide made sense to you guys and uh, you learned a lot and your red mage gameplay will improve significantly as always. But make sure to like, share, and subscribe guys. Peace. Check out the other videos if you want to see my red mage in action.